Hello, farm owners, farm lovers, and agripreneurs. Welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are going to be discussing about a timely and important aspect of farming as we are progressing into the wet season, uh, farming season in Nigeria and so many other African countries. Uh, one of the need, present need of most farmers, and especially new farmers who want to enter into farming, is how they want to clear their land. And that is the reason why I want to discuss about different methods about how you can clear your land because this is an important factor. It determines a whole lot of things about your farming activity. It determines how much you'll be spending as the cost of farming at the end of the day. Uh, it also determines uh, to a very large extent the productivity of your soil at the end of the day. And that is why I want to discuss about this uh, different type of uh, land preparation, land clearing in uh, crop production. And I'll be talking about the advantage, the pros and the cons of each and every one of them. So basically, uh, we have four different types of uh, land clearing in farming, uh, especially for a virgin forest, a virgin land you want to prepare, you want to get started and do crop production. So the first one is the manual clearing. Uh, which is where you use uh, the you hire labor and you use manual labor to clear the land. The use of cutlass uh, to get rid of the bushes. You can use uh, uh, diggers and hacks to get down the trees and so many other things. Like that. Uh, the advantage of this is that it's more preferable, especially when you are cultivating. You want to clear a small pieces of land. So, and in some places in Nigeria, some all some African countries where the population is very high, uh, if you want to use manual labor to clear, it's usually affordable, and in most in some cases, it can be cheap, depending on your location. So, uh, the bad side to this is that it takes time, and it's not advisable you use it for uh, commercial land preparation for commercial land preparation uh any land any so any uh size of land that is beyond five acres yeah it will not be palatable for you to be using uh, manual clearing in the case but another advantage is that it tends to preserve the topsoil it tends to pre preserve the the surface uh which is the most fertile part of the soil so that is the advantage uh, of it. It might be slow. Uh, it might take time if you want to use it for a large expanse of land. That is why it's not advisable. The second one which we'll be looking at is when you want to use a tractor. We call it tractorization. You can actually use tractor to clear, to perform land clearing operation in farming. Uh, and most especially in a place whereby the bushes are not too thick. Uh, we usually use tractor in farmland that has been cultivated before. You cannot use tractor in a place uh, that is a thick forest and you want to use it to start clearing. You can actually use tractor in a place that has been cultivated before and the bushes there are not beyond uh, the height of one meter. So in that case, you can actually use bringing your tractor coupled with uh, uh, whether you like it plow or you 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 couple it with the slasher. So uh, in this kind of case, it's a little bit faster and you can use it in a uh, considerably largest pans of land. So it's faster, and it's more cost effective and it's safe time. And another thing with it is that it preserves the top uh, soil and it also helps in incorporating all these bushes you see. It's incorporated back into the soil and at the end of the day, you end up uh, with a soil with more carbon content and more fertility. Uh, the second type, the third type we'll be looking at is for those people who want to establish plantation. Uh, what I mean by plantation in this uh, aspect is people who want to establish a large, very large expanse of land. Very, very large expanse of land. We are talking about land that are usually more than 10 hectares of land, which is about 225 acres of land. So in that kind of case, it will not, be, it will not make any economic sense for you to be using manual labor in that sense except you have a whole lot of time at, in your hands you want to waste because 
it will take you months to clear and at the end of the day uh you'll be paying labor every day you'll be you you might end up spending more so another thing is that if you don't have access to more tractor maybe the only tractor you have in your community is just one and it will not go around you can actually bring in a bulldozer and do your land clearing but there are a bad side to it that is why i wrote everything here in red the bad side to it is that uh it can be expensive to clear an acre of land using bulldozer is around three hundred thousand naira, thereabouts in nigeria presently and the major problem with it is that we don't have enough uh bulldozer operator who are well trained in agricultural land preparation majority of the uh, land uh, bulldozer operators we have around are people who are trained to clear land for road construction uh, building construction and everything and at the end of the day if care is not taken it will remove they will remove the whole top soil of the land rendering uh, rendering the land very useless and at the end of the day with little fertility and if care is not taken if you use bulldozer it ends up uh, also uh, exposing your land to erosion if it's not been done uh, technically and tactically and that is that about uh, bu uh, bulldozer and the last but not the least we cannot we cannot uh, just uh, ignore it is the fact that majority of farmers in Nigeria especially the small older farmer in Nigeria uh, still practice the habit of bush burning as a way of preparing their land, as a way of clearing their land. Though it's a very, very bad practice and it will not be recommended, especially for somebody like me who knows the bad side of it. Uh, it has so many bad effects on the environment and also on the soil. And, but it's a fact, people use it. We try as much as possible to educate and educate and educate. It's not a good practice. It pollutes the environment, it's, it destroys your soil. And maybe on my next video, I'll be highlighting to us the five dangers of bush burning to your farmland. So uh, just uh, look out for that. If you are watching this channel for the first time and this kind of content resonates with what you uh, have interest in, kindly do yourself some good and click on subscribe button to have access to more of my videos. My name is Lawa Olushala Lawa. I'm an agri consultant. I'm a farmer by training by education and by practice and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture so uh if you got value from this content from today's content i want to implore you to give it a like uh share with your friends so that they can or they can also uh, learn from this kind of content uh thank you for your time and see you on the next one Sheshe.